Hello guys and welcome to another one of my how-to videos and in today's video we're going to be upgrading a CPU on a older Dell Optiplex small form factor 755 now there are a few versions of these Optiplexes from this era era you have the small ones like this you have one slightly bigger than a full tower this process is pretty much the same for all of them um, with the bigger systems bigger towers you don't have this drive in the way um, and the it's mounted like that basically in the it basically the CPU what I'm trying to say is the CPU cooler is hinged at two points at the back, has screws either side and just comes back and it draws air air through the front. So this system has got a dual core processor in it. Um, it's used for office work, um, just for emails and web browsing, really. it's not used for anything more than that. Uh, it's got this, I'll put an SSD in it and um, it's got 8 gig of memory so we're going to upgrade this from a dual core E700 I believe Intel Core 2 Duo to a Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600 it is old, it is an older CPU but uh, it'll make a massive difference so what do we need to do to get started well as you can see there's a hard drive caddy here um, so we need to pull these bits up and this hinges here so we'll just literally move these bits out of the way. Um, so there's one screw, and the other screw is located down here. So we need to remove this CD drive. So we pull that up, and then push from the front. I'm trying to film this with one hand, so normally you just pull it up and push it out. Put that over there. Um, and as you can see, there's the other screw. So the CPU could has a screw either side, and it hinges at this point here. It's all plastic, so obviously don't don't break it. Don't put too much pressure on it. Um, when you take this off, the whole thing hinges towards that way. So what we're going to need to do this? Well, obviously you're going to need your replacement processor. You'll need a Posi drive or Phillips head screwdriver or cross head, depending on what you call it. Um, it's those screws basically. You'll need some thermal paste. I'm using some Cooler Master thermal paste. You you won't need uh, loads of it and I'll show you how much you need of that in a minute and people will say there is different ways of doing this but I'll do it my way and it, it's it's always been all right what how much thermal paste you put on it that's what I'm saying um, isopropyl alcohol basically to clean the top of the old CPU and um, to, to clean the up the cooler because obviously this has been on here a while it'll be stuck and all crusty and the thing with isopropyl alcohol is it evaporates and doesn't have any minerals in it so you don't get any contaminants you can if you don't know you can clean uh, electronics with it that is basically what it's used for to the point where you can dip electronics in it let it all evaporate and it'll still work things like fine electronics on iPhones and things like that not that I recommend dipping your phone in liquids but you can use it for things like that so we're going to loosen these screws off either side and this process is the same for these era systems. So if you're buying one of these off eBay and you're trying to make your make it better, like so what you'd do is you'd buy one of these machines off eBay for 50, 60 quid. You would then put an SSD in it, a bit more memory, and probably upgrade the processor, depending on what you got with it, and you'd have a really good system. Then this is how you do it. So this unit goes like that. So we will go straight back. Now this this cooler. Um, may come off really easily or maybe a bit diff maybe a bit sticky it may seem like you haven't unloosened the screws enough but y you have it's just it's it's stuck on there so this this has been off replaced I always replace the um, if you get one of these machines even if you don't upgrade the processor it's worth replacing the thermal paste so the thermal conductivity is a lot better so this is the, the cooler itself so we've got the, fa the intake fan here. And it's always worth um, just giving these fans a bit of a, this fan a bit of a clean. This whole unit does unclip from the front. I'm not going to go too mad. Just give it a bit of a clean with a rag. You know, this maintenance does help long term. Uh, this is where it hinges. So it basically just goes on there and it hinges. So don't put too much force on that because you don't want to break it. So we'll just put that there carefully for a minute. This is the old CPU. 
I've got a bit of um, isopropyl on this rag, so I'll, I'll clean the old one out. Just clean that off, that's that done. I'm not going to do any more with that. Um, this is hinged here. So you, This is an LG LGA 775 socket, it's an older socket. You push that down and go to the right. So I'll show you that again. Push down and go to the right and up. Now on here, there is a notches up there and there. It's very easy this. Do you don't want to touch the CPU either? So what we want to do, we don't want to touch. So this is the back of the new one. Don't touch any of the copper bits. So you want to pull it out like this here. And literally, we just want to put the new one in. You need to be really careful because there's all these pins at an angle. You don't want to be damaging them. So that's literally pop the old one out, pop the new one in. And it's in those notches. Get a close up of that. There you go. Straight down. Bring this back down. It's, it's tensioned. See, it's tensioned. Bring it down over to the right and unhook. And that's literally that. And now what we'll do is we will see I can basically it just shows how easy this is to do. I'm basically doing this with one hand. I'm filming and changing a processor in an optiplex with one hand. It just shows you how easy it is, how quick it is as well. So let's clean this thermal paste off. So I've got a bit of isopropyl on the rag. And then I'll give that a good clean. And we'll just give the top of this a clean as well. Don't put loads on it, and you want it to dry, just let that evaporate. Give that a really good clean. And also the other thing you might want to do is, that's cleaned, uh, that bit there. You want, might want to do before cleaning that is just, if you've got any dust here, just give it a quick vacuum, um, or just blow the air out. If you've got a compressor, whatever you've got. And then when it comes to the thermal paste, If I can get the lid off this, that'd be nice. Hang on. So, when it comes to the thermal paste, we we will just literally put a line down here, just a little line like that, and we'll put like a thing either side, and that is really all you need. And I'll, people watching this will probably say, oh, "There's loads of ways to do it." The bottom line is. You don't use loads, and as long as all that gets covered, the IHS, which is the metal piece, and that gets covered, is pretty much sorted. You shouldn't need to worry about it too much. But if you are buying one of these, then I would recommend you change the thermal paste. Any old servers and things like that, change the thermal paste, because uh, it will will keep the CPU a lot cooler. And thermal paste doesn't last forever. It eventually it does go. So we're literally, so we've cleaned both things, put the firm paste on the CPU, it's all locked down. So we're literally just going to come in here, lock both bits in those grooves, straight down. And then you can see there with the screws, the screws have got to go into a hole in the motherboard. And then we'll, we'll just come straight down. So you may need to move it over a bit. That's, that's already bitten in there, so that's, that, that's fine. Hopefully you can see this. So, yeah, because sometimes what happens is you have to push it down and just sort of like wiggle it over so the screws go into the holes, obviously it'll go to the side. And these just need to be hand tight. And I recommend you tighten one end up and the other end up. Just do both at the same time, a little bit each end, so it's even pressure. It does take a little bit of... Uh, This is an old screwdriver as well. Uh, we'll just make sure it's the same pressure each side. And then give it a final tighten. And that's done. So that's how you place a CPU in a Dell Optiplex. Now once the system's back up and running, we'll go into the BIOS. So that'll be F2 or Dell, the Dell key on your keyboard. Probably F2 for Dell, I can't remember. Um, and we'll see what the processor is and it's it's done it's upgraded so i hope if you if you have bought one of these units and you're thinking about upgrading it i hope that helps and as i say we even with the bigger units with the full towers 
you don't have all the CD drive and everything in the way. I'll put this back together now, but um, you do have uh, uh, you do have you, you do have the same CPU type thing, but the fan is a bit bigger and all that sort of thing. Um, the reason why I'm putting this hard drive tray back in is because it is connected to the motherboard via a cable, and it does it does give you an error if it's not plugged in. It's just easy just to put it in, and it gives it a bit of, bit of cooling below. Put the CD drive back in. Doing this with one hand, not particularly easy. And that just, that literally, and you can hear that, that click and that's it. So that's all upgraded. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask.